Here she be. I think we figured it's a 1958. The engine date code is 1958. Could be production 1959, because you know how they use engines that was built before the tractor, etc. etc. Uh, what I've done since last video is I put a different transmission in. This came from another Porter cable. Um, I did not part the Porter cable out. It came with a bunch of parts. And uh, it works. Um, this axle seal is going to need to get replaced. You can see how it's, it's wet. Um, this side a little wet, so both axle seals will get replaced. Um, part of the brake lever is bent. Um, that's going to um, be replaced. Um, these are the original uh, general tires. They're in pretty good shape. Um, a little, little weather cracking. Eh, that's going to be good enough for this tractor. Um, I figured out that this is not correct. It's only supposed to have the one lever. Kill switch, I believe, is correct. Um, I'm thinking about. Uh, when we go to do all the body work, um, take this, which isn't correct, and uh, moving this up here and just have this clean looking. Um, I got the belt cover from here to here. Um, uh, what else? Uh, somewhat straighten the uh, tunnel out. Not the best job, but uh, that's a job for a later day. Hood's rough but savable uh, all right come come to the fun part all right so this is a model 143 302 briggs and stratton five and three quarter horsepower engine well you can still get points and condenser um i bought those and I went to buy the Magneto. They are NLA. Um, I found one on eBay. The guy's got three of them. He wants $84 a piece. Well, that's yeah, a little too high for, for me because I don't even know if the engine runs. Um, I don't know if there's any issues with it. So I wanted a different solution. Well, my local mower shop I'm good friends with, um, uh, I talked to them and we went in the boneyard and they had an eight horse snapper back there and we robbed the uh, flywheel and the uh, magnetron and came home and I bolted it on and it works. So. Um, poured some gas in it and uh, the, the, the bowl started leaking so I swapped on a different bowl and uh, I choked it and gave it two pulls and it ran. Um, it runs good. It definitely needs a carb clean. It surges. Um, so uh, that's, that's on another another uh, video I'm going to show you how to, I rebuild um, carburetors. Um, I, uh, majority of my tractor money comes from rebuilding carburetors for other people and, and uh, I'd rather think I'm rather good at it. Um, yes, there's people better than I, but you know, no matter what you do, there's always someone that's better. Uh, you can see the uh, the engine code one four three three zero two, and guys, it's a nineteen fifty eight. Um, I'm not really good with these uh, Biggs and Strattons. I mess around with Kohlers. Um, uh, I need to get the uh, right ISO mounts for this engine because uh, the engine's not quite. You know, these ones are correct, but the back ones are all chimichangaed. Um, so I need to work on the belt system. Um, uh, not very difficult. Um, I need to... Pretty much I'm almost ready to start blowing it up. I want to get the mower deck attached. Um, 
uh, implements are very hard to find for these. Um, uh, I got three, three of the uh, uh, two-bladed decks. Um, I'm looking for some three-bladed decks for my um, later model executives. And I just bought another um, Lawn Chief yesterday with a seven-horse uh, Kohler in it. And that one's going to get restored to go with my executives and my ported cable. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool tractor. It's um, It's got a very cool uh, system on it. I'm not sure if it's correct or whatnot, because I, you know, my, I'm used to playing with the later model. But if you take your heel and you push down, tightens the belt and you go forward. And you rotate the pedal forward, and uh, it stops, and it disengages the belt. Um, pretty, pretty cool system. Um, I was in a hurry. Um, I didn't hook up the uh, the ground for the magneto, so let's give it a little gas and let's give it a pull. Okay. Okay. Like I said, I gotta reload the carburetor. 